Russian soldier. Many young guys I knew are dead in Ukraine. They weren't even 30. A Russian soldier who plans offensives as part of the invasion of Ukraine said he finds it difficult sending men into situations where he knows they will probably die. The soldier, Pavel, told the Moscow Times that I draw arrows on a map and the soldiers move forward. According to the report, Pavel's job is to manage anti-aircraft systems and plan offensives. This means he sometimes has to send men into an attack knowing they are unlikely to survive. I can't tell the men, otherwise they wouldn't fight with the hope of winning, he said. The Moscow Times said his eyes were glistening with emotion as he spoke about it. After all this, you don't sleep well, he said. According to the report, Russia is sending soldiers forward in these attacks in the hope of distracting Ukrainian forces with the aim of getting them to send soldiers away from its main offensives. Russia has previously been accused of treating its soldiers as highly disposable. This includes using meat wave tactics where Russia sends waves of men forward to try to overwhelm Ukrainian positions to then allow better trained or more elite soldiers to progress. Russia is believed to have suffered a much higher casualty rate than Ukraine in the war. The UK Ministry of Defence said late last month that 500,000 Russian soldiers had likely been killed or wounded since the full-scale invasion began in February 2022. It also said that Russia's average daily casualties were 1,200 in May, the highest numbers so far reported in the conflict. Pavel spoke to the Moscow Times on a train near Ukraine's border. Some soldiers on the train were going to the front lines, while others were on a short leave break. Pavel joined Russia's military as a volunteer, the Moscow Times reported, after hearing some of his family had been killed by Ukrainian soldiers at the start of the invasion. He previously worked as a senior specialist at one of Russia's largest companies, the report said, and had asked for his army salary to be given to an orphanage. I don't want to be paid to kill people. He told the outlet. The Moscow Times reported that most soldiers on the train were drinking, including Pavel, and that a fight almost broke out between one of the soldiers and another passenger. Other soldiers on the train described brutal conditions with huge Russian losses. Many young guys I knew are dead. They weren't even 30. One soldier, Yegor, said. Another, who was on his way back to the front lines, showed a gunshot wound in his chest that was not properly healed yet. I probably won't make it this time he said. There is information about the withdrawal of the 1009th Motorized Rifle Regiment of the Russian Armed Forces from near Volchensk due to significant losses. It is reported that the regiment lost 90% of its personnel and also included Wagner soldiers who refused to storm Volchensk without the support of equipment. A video of a contract soldier from this regiment also appeared on the internet, who says that, complete meat, is happening in that direction, and out of his company of 100 people, 12 remained alive. Russian soldiers fighting against the cross-border incursion are complaining that they are being, slaughtered, and, entire regiments, have been lost. They blame bad leadership, inadequate equipment, lack of artillery support and no reinforcements. Soldiers sow, we are under constant shelling, officers, ordinary soldiers and above all the people who have families and all their relatives at home are being killed. And heavy equipment and reinforcements are out of the question. Near Volchensk, the Ukrainian armed forces captured about 60 Russians. This was announced by the Speaker Operational and Strategic Group of Troops, Kortitsia Nazar Volishin. The event happened on Sunday, June 2nd, on the same day Volishin reported that Ukrainian units control most of the city, about 70%, and there are fierce battles in the city and in the surrounding area. The Ukrainian armed forces managed to stabilize the situation in the Kharkiv direction. And although the enemy is trying to find an opportunity to gain a foothold in Volchensk, up to 70% of the city is now controlled by Ukrainian defenders, he added. Also, according to him, the enemy is trying to support assault groups by maneuvering reserves. There is information about the movement of enemy units belonging to the 44th and 11th Army Corps, which the enemy is trying to attract to conduct combat operations. But the enemy does not yet have enough forces to attack. He added that the Ukrainian armed forces control the actions of the enemy and do not allow him to advance or gain a foothold in Volchensk. According to him, at the moment more than 70% of Volchensk is left under the control of the armed forces of Ukraine. 
Street fighting continues, the Russians are trying to move in small groups to gain a foothold in the territory, but they are not successful.